Okay, welcome to the next uh, FreeSurfer tutorial. Um, so the assumption is now that you've set up FreeSurfer and you can open up Terminal. I'll just share my screen before we get going on that. Uh, so we can open up a terminal and we have bash profile set up so that we have these uh, variables being um, in our environment. For example, and notice that in my case, I've set up the subjects directory to be on the desktop, not in the applications directory. Um, <clears throat> so what, we, what I wanna demonstrate in this tutorial is the use of recon all. So recon all is um, a way to be able to do all the steps from the raw data to extracting the brain and um, segmenting it and finding the surfaces. And this is probably the most common command that you'll use FreeSurfer for. Um, so let's go to a directory where we have the data. So I already created this directory and I put some data in it. And you can see with FreeView that it's actually appropriate data. So this is a nifty file, and you can see this is T1 weighted MRI. That's what we want for free surfer. Um, and we can then check that recon all is available. Yes, it is. And if you want to look at all the details, um, uh, the flags for recon all, then you can use this command, but notice that it has many pages uh, and it's quite detailed. So you'll probably want to use the more command to be able to page through it, which you can do with uh, spacebar. Or, and I think there's a web page that has all this as well, but um, I'm just going to show you the most common usage. So uh, we would go recon all dash s, and we would name this subject. And this is the identifier, dash S flag is telling you what identifier I'm using for the data. And in this case, I'm calling it subject one. Um, one thing to note is that there is more than one way to specify this flag. You can um, use this, or I think there's some other alternatives. Um, I would suggest that you just use dash s. It's simpler and um, I think you'll find that that's easier to remember. Um, and then we want to indicate the input uh, file. So of course you could have multiple files in this directory and you may want to actually pull it from a different location. So you can put in the full path name, but we have it in this directory. So I can just indicate it this way. And notice you can use um, a nifty file, not a DICOM, or you could also use, um, for example, a zipped nifty. So if we look on our desktop, we have it here. Right now it's just a nifty file, but if it was gzipped, for example, it would, could also work. You don't necessarily have to convert it because it will do it for you. Um, and the last flag that you need is dash all, and that means go through all the steps that recon all provides. Um, this is generally what I would use, but if you were doing troubleshooting, you might only do a few of the steps rather than all of them. So let's run that. Um, okay, so this is a typical problem. I already previously um, ran this, and it created this directory. And in this directory, you can see that there are these MGZ files, which are equivalent to the nifty file. And so FreeSurfer is throwing an error because it doesn't see why you're specifying the nifty when apparently you're going to be, uh, you've already created the MGZ that corresponds to it. So it thinks that you must not know what you're doing. Um, so 
to start fresh, I'll just delete this. But if you do want to run that um, and just continue on, then you would just drop the dash i flag. So let's run that. So now it, it works properly. And you see in this line here, it's actually converting from the initial file into the MGZ file. And so a ridge dot, um, this a ridge is the one that's being created um, So this is the, the original version in the MGZ format. And then after that, it starts um, doing uh, more steps in order to be able to, to extract the surfaces, but I won't get into those. Just wanted to point out that you do run into this issue um, where the dash I is, um, not required after the first time you've run and created this um, directory in your subjects directory. Notice also that I didn't specify the full path name. If we look at that command again, I only specified the ID. I didn't specify the whole path name. If you do want to specify a different subjects directory than the one that's in the environment variable. So if we look at our environment, um, and we look for subject. This is the environment variable that we have set up in bash profile. If I wanted to use a different one because I wanted to keep this project separate from other projects, then I would uh, run this a different way. I would go and maybe put it in temp, which I already have on the directory on the desktop. So let's try that. Okay, so look, let's see what we're doing here. We're converting this data and we're, um, the initial conversion is creating a file under temp, uh, which you can see here. So that's how I can specify on the command line what the output directory will be. Um, now, if we quit that, so um, now let's suppose that for some reason there is an error and you've figured out how to fix the error and you come back and you want to run this again. Um, what you should do is drop this dash I and run it again. And that way, it will not cause an error. It will just realize that you're using this directory in the subject directory. So in other words, because this exists and it has the MGZ already created in here, then um, you don't need to specify dash I. Now, one more problem that can come up is shown here. It's errored out here. And it's saying that um, it looks like recon all is already running um, because this lock file exists. If I process, if check my processes, which is what I am doing here, um, there is a there is a, a line for this, but this is just the grep line I'm I just did. So there's recon all is not running. I I actually quit it, so it did kill, but they did not get rid of this lock file. So what I need to do is this line. So I'm just copying and pasting. And now I should be able to run this properly. Okay, so now it's able to continue on with the recon all uh, after um, I made those changes. So there you have it. Those are a few things which um, I think people commonly run into when they first try to use FreeSurfer. Um, and I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.